have this weird feeling that I'm forgetting something. If anything, you can always get more things when you're there. I still can't believe this is happening for real. I don't even think it's hit me yet. The chance of getting into NYU's film program is... 19%. Yes, Talo, we know. <sighs> Sorry, I talk about this way too much. As you should, girl. You have every right to come out. Thanks, Maya. I just wish my mom was. She wasn't happy when she found out that I accepted my offer. You know how moms are. They're overprotective for a reason. At least, that's what I try to tell myself when my mom screams at me. You said your dad's happy though, right? Yeah. He studied film in the Philippines, so he's really happy that I'm doing film too. Oh, shoot. That reminds me. He got me a blanket a few years back. It's the warmest blanket ever. It'll be perfect for the cold weather. Definitely don't envy you. I wonder where it is. Mom? 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 So, Mario, accept na ako mo ko ano ba? Do you know where my winter blanket is? The one that Dad got me? Ewan ko. Madami alikabok dito. Maybe here in the house. I'll talk to you later. This one's heavy. Bang balik bayan box. A balik bayan box? We use this to send pasalubong to our family in the Philippines. You know, for things they can't easily get over there. I know what a balik bayan box is. I remember we sent one a long time ago. Wait, is this the same box from when I was five? We are planning to get a few more items because it wasn't full and it's not worth sending a half empty balik bayan box, you know? And I wanted to send some things that Tita Christie wanted, so I wrote it down on this note. Did they ask why they never received it? Why didn't you send it out? Ano sa tingin mo? Maybe they didn't ask because your dad and I are separated. Let's see what's in here. Damit, candy, medjas. Ano na dito sa baba? Spam. Spam? 13 year old spam. Baka masarap pa rin. Ah, hindi pala. But everything else is good. Tala Marie, ipak natin ulit ito. Seriously, you wanna do this now? Oh, oh, before you go. I still have to pack and find that blanket. You've had all this time to pack and you still haven't yet? I'm only one person and it takes a lot of time to pack everything you need for college. Maybe it's in the closet. Tala Marie Iglesias Reyes, don't walk away from me when I'm still talking to you. Have you forgotten who's paying for your tuition? No, I haven't forgotten. Madali kong bawiin ang tuition mo na babayaran ko. Yeah, right. You can't do that. <gasps> ah, ganun ha. Okay. I can call NYU right now and tell them I'll withdraw my parent loan. No! Why are you so dramatic? I'm dramatic? You're the one that's dramatic. Hinihiling ko lang sa yung isang simpleng bagay. Wala kang utang na loob. This is the least you can do after all my sacrifices. And all for what? To be a movie star? It's called screenwriting. It's what I want to do. Oo nga. You should be grateful I'm paying for you to pursue something that doesn't even guarantee a career. Oh, ano? Gusto mo pa bang pumunta sa kolehiyo nito? Okay, fine. I'll do it. But we have to be back in a few hours. I still need to pack and find that blanket wherever it is. 
So we need to get clothes for your Tito Christy, Tito Boy, Tito Batot, your Ate Laila, Ate Noel, Kuya Mark, and Kuya Mark's kids. I nalala ko tatlong anak nila, uh, but they're all grown up now, so all the clothes that we got them from all those years ago aren't going to fit anymore. And then we'll go to Costco so we can buy food and ball and get shop out for dinner. Madali lang yan. Great, we'll be done in no time. Magkita tayo mamaya. Okay, bye. Here's your food. Okay. Who are you talking to? Don't worry about it. Kain na tayo ng siopaw. Will you miss Filipino food? Mom, there's Filipino food everywhere. Why New York? Ang layo naman. I just want to try something new. All I really know is Glendale and California. And there's a lot of opportunities there because NYS Film School is one of the best. You know, I left the Philippines so that I can pursue a new opportunity here too in the States. But I'm not leaving the country. Just ko po mabuti pa. But still, you're moving on to a new opportunity. Did you know that I came here to America to pursue something else? Nursing wasn't my first choice. But it pays the bills. What did you want to do before nursing? Ay, we should go na. We have one more thing we need to do. What? You didn't say we were going anywhere after the store. I must have forgotten. It's almost six. It's okay, it's not gonna take that long. Where are we going again? Your tita Nini. What? Why? She wants to give me some things to send in the box. She lives so far and there's so much traffic right now. Can I just go home so that you can go get it yourself? Bakit ha? Ayaw mo ba sa akin? Pagod ka na sa akin, hindi ka pa umaalis. I mean, I did what you asked me to do, so I think I can go home now. We're almost there. Wag magsalita. I'm going to see Dad tonight before I leave. Ha? Huh? Bakit? I mean, I am going to the other side of the country tomorrow. So if I can go on this little scavenger hunt with you, then I should be able to see him. He has no business seeing you. I mean, I'm basically an adult now, so... No, ayoko. Are you serious? I'm your mother. Alam ko kung ano magaling sa'yo. <laughs> do you? Do you know what's best for me? God, why are you like this? You never want me to do anything. It's always about you. You know, this isn't the Philippines. We're in America now, and this is how it is. If I want to go see Dad, and if I want to go to film school, then it's my choice. As long as you're staying under my roof, you obey me. You think just because you had this opportunity to go to New York, and you think you're so high up now, you can disrespect your elder like that? I don't like this attitude, huh? Did you get this from your dad? You didn't get it from me. <laughs> Jeez, Mom. Are you jealous of me? Is that what it is? I'm so sorry. I'm sorry. Are you okay? I think I'm so sorry. The car is okay. Not much damage. I'm sorry, okay? I 
didn't mean for any of that to happen. Sorry ka ng sorry, pero totoo bang sinasabi mo? Wow, Mom. I'm here apologizing and you can't even accept that. Nothing's ever good enough for you. I don't know if you care about me at all. Do you even care? At least Dad cares. Do I care? Do I care? Who drives you to and from school? Who puts food on the table for you? Who's going to pay for your college tuition? What does your dad actually do for you? He left us both, remember? Tala, Marie, come back here! Tala! This is your going away present. Do you know what your name means in the Philippines? Goddess of the stars. I know it sounds corny, but I used to look up at the stars and dream of becoming an artist in America, but it didn't work out the way I wanted it to. Your Lolo and Lola didn't approve of it anyway. When I knew I had to give it up, I didn't know what to do. But then I had you. And I made a promise to myself that I would give you all the opportunities to be successful. But you pursuing screenwriting is so scary. I don't want you to fail like I did. You're gonna have to let go of that, Mom. Can you please trust me? This is a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. I'm part of the 19% that got accepted to the film school. I know that if I don't take this, I'm gonna regret it. Will you support me in my decision? My support may not have looked like the way you would have wanted, but it was always there. Thank you so much for watching our short film, The Final Piece. We produced it for the HBO APA Visionary Short Film Competition in 2019. Although we were not chosen as one of the winners, our short film was an official selection at several film festivals. We hope you enjoyed this heartfelt film and the story of this mother and daughter reconnecting with the help of a bonfire box. 
I wrote this story because I wanted to write about the relationship that I have with me and my mom and how I feel like it's something that I think is relatable to a lot of Filipino Americans, especially female creatives. And I was also really inspired by the Balak Bayam box that I remember seeing in the living room growing up. My mom would always just pile it with so much stuff, but never actually send it. <laughs> uh, that got me thinking like, what it would what would it be like to not only unpack a Balak Bayam box, but also just unpack the relationship of this mother and daughter where some things may not be seen eye to eye. So I was really inspired by both of those things to create the final piece. You know, I really loved how this movie explores the relationship between a mother and daughter and the different dynamics that go along with it. And also how, you know, they figure out in the end that they actually do have the same motivations and passions. I agree. I think playing this role and playing Tala's role, I really felt like it was reliving part of my life almost because I'm someone who wants to go into the creative field as a Filipina. And I think our parents, specifically my mom, have we've definitely butted heads over my decisions and career choices. But in the end, she's always been supportive, even if it's in a different way than I had envisioned. And I know that she loves me. And I really felt that love and the, both the intergenerational gap and like that still like supporting love, I guess, come through in like the messages and the story of this film. So it was really awesome to play a role that I could really relate to. I love that. Um, what was everyone's most memorable moment of the film? My most memorable moment was when I drove the car with the cameras on it, like on the hood and on the side. And I was just so nervous. I was driving Jana's car. So, you know, I had to make sure that I was familiar with her car. Um, but Raylene, um, such a good actress. And I got in the moment, you know, with her in the scene. So, um, after a while, I just got used to it, but the crew made it very, very safe. So thank you so much. And shout out to Homer Dulu for, you know, putting that rig together, the car rig. It was definitely memorable for me and a first. I also think that was really awesome filming in the car. And I remember like, both Ramel and our sound person in the back, squished in the back, but I really did get lost in the moment with Noreen because she's a wonderful actress as well. Mm -hmm. I felt like I was, actually fighting with a mom with my mom i was like oh this is giving me flashbacks but that just shows how good of an actress noreen is and how good oh, the script was you. um my personal favorite was when we were filming a scene where we had to like have a conversation while eating Chopin in the parking lot and we were both really hungry so i think we kept eating a lot more than we had intended out of the Chopin and we kind of got scolded because we did not have enough show power to keep switching it out between takes. So we had to take smaller bites. But then afterwards, we were able to eat and, you know, satiate our hunger because, you know, it had been a long day. But it was just a really funny, fun memory and something that I'll always remember from that shooting. I love that scene too. <laughs> yeah, honestly, all of the car scenes were so good. Like Noreen and Raylene really killed it. <laughs> Oh, thank um, you. Yeah. <laughs> There's so many memorable moments, but I think the one that sticks out for me was the final painting, aka mm. the final piece <laughs> of Sala amongst the stars. Um, I remember we we were trying to figure out how to portray this and how to make this come to life. So I was like talking to some of my artist friends and I was also talking to Ravel, seeing if he could tap anyone in his network. Um, and I got to shout out Leanne for creating this beautiful piece with Raylene as Stella and you see the stars in the back. When I saw it, my jaw dropped because it was more than what I had even imagined. It was the perfect final piece. And also special shout out to our awesome cast and crew. Everyone was so dedicated to the project, even with our tight deadline. So yeah, thank you. Maraming salamat. <laughs> <laughs> Well, if you enjoy this short film and you want to see more content from Romix Productions like other short films, music videos, and behind the scenes videos, make sure to stay up to date by following us at all of our social media accounts. All of the links are in the description below. All right, we'll see you all next time. Bye. Bye.